Welcome. I'd like to share this um, talk with regards to pain, to recognize and embrace pain. So this can be physical pain, emotional pain, and often when we have physical pain, there's an emotional painful um, counterpart to it. So this is part of mindfulness training. Uh, the origins go back some 2,600 years. So this one has to do with the seventh exercise of 16. What we're going to look at is that we're going to recognize both painful and unpleasant feelings. So they start off with breathing in. Now, this is really quite important. In order for us not to get overwhelmed with the, with the pain, whether it be, again, painful emotions or physical pain, if we can have a sense of knowing whether we're breathing in or not, that helps to, to ground us, helps to bring stability into the mind. And so the first part is this grounding aspect. The second part is going to be the recognition. So I know that it, it, I know that a painful feeling is there. So this is the process all through the practices we always have the breath kind of walking beside us to help to keep us grounded and keep us present. And then we have the recognition and the skillful means um, in addition to that. So that makes up the two main parts of practicing mindfulness. Now, uh, this is by Thich Nhat Hanh, and Thich Nhat Hanh is a Zen monk and uh, one of my wisdom figures. Uh, pain is a kind of energy, and the non-practitioner can be overtaken by painful feelings. Uh, so that is so true, and this is where we can get stuck. Uh, what's being offered here is a way to work with that. Not necessarily that the pain is going to just magically disappear, but we'll be able to be with it. Now, um, rather than becoming a victim. So every time a painful feeling or emotion comes up, a practitioner should know how to handle it. The method that the Buddha proposed was to get in touch with the seed of mindfulness within us. So we know that when we're breathing, that uh, it, the breath is always there. So that's one of the things we can do is we can become aware of the breath. Or if, uh, if we are walking, we can become aware of our walking. So these are both ways to ground us cells back into the second moment. So this is the second zone of energy that he's referring to. So first we have the pain, the physical and emotional pain, but then we draw up our own secondary energy and that's the pain, that's the energy of just being with the pain. And that way what we do is we allow the initial pain to be supported by the mindfulness, the concentration, and being present to it. So what happens over time is that tends to rebalance and fall away, and we are able to manage those skillful emotions more, more often. So we're showing here that we make friends with our pain, so that would be the embracing part. And we say, hello, my, my fear, hello, my anger, hello, my sadness. I know you are there. I'm going to take care of you. So what we're doing is this is our own, whether it's our own pain or our own emotional pain, it, it belongs to me. And I'm going to recognize it. And I'm going to take care of it because I'm not going to get upset with myself or I'm not going to... Um, and just do something that's not wise or skillful because of this pain. The pain is here. I want to recognize it and learn from it. So that's when the energy of the pain starts to be uh, in, um, inculcated into the mindfulness. And he uses the expression of like a flower. A flower in the morning will be closed and then as the sun comes out, the flower opens and opens to the sunlight. So this is a 
process that takes patience and it takes practice. But most importantly, uh, there's no violence. So we don't get upset with ourselves because of the emotion or because of the pain. We just want to be with it and we want to care for it. And that could be um, for physical pain, uh, making a good choice around a doctor or pain medication. Uh, with a clear mind, we make better choices. So I just wanted to pass this along. This has been very helpful in my life. And so I wanted to share it with, with other folks. Thank you for your interest.